Hey guys, it's me again, and today we're going to be playing two more horror games. Uh, the first one's a short game called The Lighthouse. I believe it was inspired by that that uh, that one movie with uh, Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson that came out not too long ago. So I don't know what to expect. I honestly I've seen the movie, but I'm not sure what to expect with this, so let's uh, see what it's all about. He's not in this room. In his room. In his room? What do you mean, in his room? I have to search on his body. Oh. Okay. By the way, if you want to try this game out yourself, and the next one, as always, links down below in the description. Do I have a flashlight or something? Maybe like a lantern. It's actually kind of dark. Alright, so he says I have to check his body, but where's his body? Okay, yeah, that's outside. Is it hailing? He's not here. I can look better on his body. Okay, so I guess I woke up to this noise and I need the key. I think it's hailing. Yeah, it's hailing. I get this lantern? No, I cannot. I don't even know where I'm going. So yeah, I've, I've seen the movie. I know they go crazy, so I'm guessing this game's about going mad. Because maybe they're like, maybe this dude on here is isolated. Too long. Also reminds me of that one movie, uh... What was it? What's this? Oh shit, that's him? Is that him? Did he kill him? Over here. Now oh, is the pier. Is that a face? That's a face. Is that a mermaid? That is a mermaid. Or some demonic looking mermaid. That was like a fish with a face. Because if you saw it go, go down, you could see the fin, the back fin. Yeah, that was definitely like this weird fish with a human face on it. Fucked up. Also, I gotta watch. Hey, it's an outhouse. I gotta watch the lighthouse again because I barely remember it. I gotta like. <laughs> I didn't really pay much attention to it because it kind of come and went. For me. Okay. See what's up on the up in the light. Here we go. Yeah, we're going mad. Wow, that's actually kind of loud. Like a fish person is gonna come after me, there's like nothing. It is completely dark. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. So it's pretty much, pretty much went into the dark void or something. Yeah, that's uh, that was really short. Pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, on to the next game. All right, guys. So for the next game, we're playing Lost in the Backrooms. Now, if you've been on YouTube lately, there's been an influx of backrooms-related content, like a surge of backrooms-related material for some reason. Uh, I dug into Itch.io, and you can tell there's like a lot of backrooms-related games and content. Some of them suck. Some of them look pretty interesting. I decided to try this one out. Uh, I believe this was made for a certain game jam. I'm not sure. And it came out like one or two years ago, so I don't know. But yeah, we're going to check this one out. Here we go. And of course, like I said in the first game, if you want to try this game out yourself, links down below in the description. Jeez, already, already into it. Okay, the walls look different. So I think this is procedurally generated, almost. I'm not sure. So there's like... It's actually cool how the wall kind of peels away. So there's like two different wallpaper areas. I don't know if it means I'm in... If it means anything, but yeah. Like I said, this is like... Pretty interesting. I think... Now, if I'm correct, in the back room's lore, it's just open. Like, the back rooms are open. It, it's, it's there. The whole thing's set. So the layout is, you know, it's pretty much set in stone as soon as you enter. But the way this one does it... Yeah, I like how it... Uh, the further you get, it's like it's free. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Listen to this and so probably wondering where you are right now. Short answer is nowhere good. Somewhere back in the real world, you went through a door that wasn't a door. Or you clicked through a wall, like a glitch in some game. Now you're here, in a place they call the back rooms. I leave behind these tapes and hope that maybe someone finds me. Or I can help others find an exit. Keep your wits about you. There are things wandering in these cars that want you dead or worse. That's cool. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I like how the game how it's um like it's creating itself. Because like I said before, when you enter the back rooms they're pretty much the entire layout's already established and there's like millions and millions of miles of, of of yellow paper yellow carpet and stuff but the way this game handles it it just like it's like it's creating itself like you start in the middle and then it's creating more and more You know what I'm saying? Like it's expanding. What the fuck is that? Do I follow it? I don't think I'm supposed to follow that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I am if I want to progress, but I feel like noises are dangerous. I think. Yeah, like I said, going back, I like how the game is creating it's like how the not the game but how this environment is creating itself expanding itself didn't i just go through I feel like it just made this area again yeah i don't i think um i don't think i was supposed to, i think i was Jesus, man, come on. Scared the fuck out of me. I wish I could just tell you. Let go. 
but it's no use. I tried to draw a map, only gave myself a headache. This place has a mind of its own. I think I can hear it moving, even now. Doors where there weren't doors before. So yeah, I like the idea that this area is a living thing. Other than, you know, it's just a big maze that just happens to be there. It actually makes it more interesting that saying that this is a that the back rooms is a living entity on its own. Makes it more scary. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, look at all this. That is locked. Like, I feel like it could lead you, depending on if the back rooms likes you or not. I feel like it, it could lead you to your doom. If it wanted. It's very quiet. I mean, I heard a scream while ago, but... I feel like we've gone away from it. Too far. Let's go further down. I don't know if there's any enemies in this. I hope not. I don't know. Jesus, man, come on. I hate it when he does that. The last thing I remember was the drone of the yellow lights. I was at an old gas station finishing the smoke by the dumpsters. The next thing I knew, I felt myself falling back through the wall behind me, like it wasn't there. When I got up, I was in the labyrinth of yellow rooms, something unhuman was shining in the next hall, just barely at the edge of sight. I was too shocked to scream. That might have saved my life. Good. I like how these, how games like these, you know, there's like always that one person that came in before you, trying to help you. Okay, I hear shit. Let's try and get away from the noise. I hear something. I don't know which way it's at. It seems like it's come from the left and then the right. Like it's everywhere. Okay, I think we're going in its direction. Yeah, I don't hear anymore. Oh wait. Yeah, it sounds like it's everywhere. It sounded like it came from the right, so we're gonna go left. And now it sounds like it's on the right. What the fuck? I don't think I'm safe. Back. There was no way back. No way back that there's an exit somewhere. Something tells me it's deeper down in the back rooms. An intuition that I can't explain. Let's hope I'm right. This dude just happened to have a tape recorder on him. Is that it? Or maybe the back rooms had it? From the person that left it before him? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's funny how the 
games like how these how these games have when you get trapped in a dimension there's always that one person that came here before you trying to help you but you know there's never hmm. well, let's keep going for you know there's never a there's never a moment to where you're the fir the very first person to enter a dimension, you know? Which makes sense, because, you know, you, you can get lost and stuff, but... I think it'd be scarier... Let's go over here. I think it'd be much scarier to have it to where... You're the first person to come here. You're the first person to... See all this shit. You know, like... You gotta figure out yourself. There's no help, no nothing. Because, like, whenever it's something like this game, or... Hmm, what's another game? I don't know, there's, like, always a game that you're the... You, whenever you get... Shit. I hope you brought a flashlight. It gets darker ahead. Not, well, all I can say is good luck. Maybe just keep a hand out and don't pray that they can't see you either. Oh, shit. Okay, let's... Hope I don't screw myself over. Yeah, like I said... Hearing breathing sucks. Yeah, like I said, you know, it's always like whenever you play a game or a story, the main character is always the one that they'll get help from the person before them, you know? It's always that. Which, in a way, uh, and I hear noises everywhere. Which, in a way, like, it it progresses the story much easier. It's like, oh, you know, the guy before me, he left a note saying that we should, we should do this or something. You know, or we failed to finish this, so now we gotta do it. It's never like, oh shit, I'm the first one here, I don't know what the fuck to do. That scared the shit out of me. God. I think this place can read my mind. I have memory of a spider bite when I was 10. Then the next thing I know, I hear little legs crawling. Whatever it is that scares the most, don't think about it here. God. By the way, I know I sound like I'm rambling a lot. Like I'm in a shitty podcast or something, but... I'm freaking out, okay? Usually people talk a lot when they're freaking out. That's how they cope with this bullshit. And also, I'm walking in the direction of the sound. Oh, fuck it, let's let's see. Let's see what this monster looks like, if it's actually there. Let's confront this beast. This just keeps going up. Yeah, so from what I heard, you're not supposed to... Well, I mean, like a lot of horror-related things. You're not supposed to go wherever the sound is. You're supposed to go away from it. I wonder if these, like, entities get lonely. You know? Like they're just, oh god, I'm so lonely, I'm just gonna moan really loud. Jesus, man. Every fucking time, every freaking time these tapes pop up. 
you listen, good job making it this far. I really mean that. A little bit of hope can go a long way down here. Take a breath. Forgive yourself for all the times you almost gave up. Know that every step forward took courage. Keep it up, and we might have a chance. Oh, thank God. Ugh, I need light. Keep it up, and we might have a chance. What do you mean by we? Oh, back on carpet. Yeah, what do you mean by we? Did you make it out? Am I going to meet up with you? I feel like I'm going to meet up with this guy. Oh, God. It's been like... It's already been a few minutes and I have not... I have not yet... Met up with anything. They're just waiting for me. I don't think there's anything here. Well, or maybe there is something here and I'm just lucky enough to avoid it. I don't hear the moaning dude anymore. So we're back to this shitty wallpaper. Oh my god. I don't know, guys. I don't know. What would you do if you guys were on oh, dead end? What would you guys if you get? What would you guys do if you fell into the back rooms? Like you weren't prepared, you know? Just casually walking down the street. God damn, that scared me. That always fucking scares me. the last seven or eight hours just pushing on walls sounds stupid now but i was hoping to flip out of this place the same way but then since you're still hearing from me and guess how well that went yep you know it's crazy that hollywood hasn't like or any big filmmaker hasn't picked up on internet or you know because I know like a lot of, there's like a lot of filmmakers, independent filmmakers and stuff that pick up on the stuff and make their own movie. And they end up being pretty amazing, get a lot, getting a lot of traction, but it's just kind of crazy how, how like, you know, no big filmmakers picked up on this yet, you know, SCP stuff. Or, well, they did pick up on Slender Man, but most of those movies, from what I heard, they suck. <laughs> you know? I heard a thump. I heard a thump. Yeah, so I heard Slender Man sucked. It's a good attempt. I'm at least glad that somebody picked up on that. Yeah, you know, you got like, there's like a lot of material for internet horror that Hollywood or, well, shit, scared me again. I got lucky, relatively speaking. Had a couple of days of food and drinking in my pack, preparation for a few days traveling. Oh, you had some shit on him? I've been trying to ration it, but I'm starting to get dizzy. Not sure anymore if I'm seeing shapes in the dark or imagining them. Oh, it's darkness again? God damn it. This guy came a bit prepared. I guess he was like hitchhiking. I don't know. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of. I'm kind of surprised Hollywood hasn't, like. Well, I don't really want to say Hollywood, but. I'm surprised like no big filmmaker has picked up on internet horror and made a movie about it, you know. Because there's like so much good material. A lot of people have ideas, you know. 
back rooms would make a pretty interesting fuck I'm gonna go one floor up just in case then again it could be on this floor yeah as I said you know it'd be cool if a big filmmaker would maybe grab one of these internet horror stories and just make a full-fledged movie. The back Rooms would make a pretty good movie, you know? Well, actually, it'd make a pretty good series. I heard there's, like, more than one floor. I mean, well, the original lore is that it's just this. And then people started expanding on it. I actually watched a few videos on that. It's, I mean, some of the floors they add are pretty crazy and terrifying, but... Damn, dead end. But at the end of the day, it it kind of it seems like it's getting out of hand, you know. Like there's too many floors. Okay, this time it didn't freak me out. First, I wish I brought a weapon. Now I'm not so sure. I'm almost certain I would have used it on myself by now. It's a dreadful thing, but I can't help wondering. If I die here, do I become one of those things? I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, there's like so much internet horror material that... Okay, I forgot what was I forgot what I was saying. I feel like it's getting closer. What was I saying? <laughs> Happened again. I forgot my. I, forgot what I was saying. Shit. It's probably like gonna be there when I go back. Yeah. The like the back rooms has kind of gotten out of hand. Like there's a few channels I watched that explain few you know different floors and stuff, but it's just like really. There's like way too many back rooms. I mean, it's pretty much starting to become like an endless thing. Like, you could just come up with your own back rooms. You know, like this back room is just one long hallway of nothing. You know? I feel like they're just like coming up with shit out of nowhere and just pulling it out of their ass. That's how it feels with most of the new floors like it was actually pretty interesting because when it, when the back rooms first came about because it's just this one floor that they talked about god that one really scared me it's following me oh god it's following me oh shit Probably following me too. Yeah, as I said, this, you know, these backroom stories, these backroom floors that they're adding, it's just, just too much, man. There's like a bajillion floors now. It was much scarier when it was just this area. I mean, when they started adding... Oh, this is new. When they started adding like new floors, it was just. It just started getting slowly and slowly crazier. I mean, some of the floors are interesting. Like, I think there's one where it's just. It's just like a subway or something. Okay, it's a dead end. Interesting. Yeah, there's like a different different interesting floors. There's like one that's just... It's just a subway tunnel. Long sub... or long parking lot. God damn, that's great. Always scary. Is... is this hell? Damn, it's getting close. 
like it's getting close. Where the hell that means? It definitely got this guy. Okay, we're back here. See, now I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay, this is definitely different. I think we're going in the direction of whatever, whatever the fuck is making this noise. to the source. I feel a pull that I can't explain. Something's drawing me further down to the center of all this madness. And maybe my way out. I can only hope I find it before something else finds me. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Oh, God. Yeah, this back room should just be one one giant level, I think, you know, maybe a few levels, maybe up to 13, it should just go up to 13, because now it's like a bajillion levels. Okay, this is where I came from, brick and mortar. The sound is like everywhere. It's like always in front of me actually, so I can't really pinpoint the source. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna screw myself over. Then again, it could just be ambient noises. I wonder how they recorded this noise, like, what is it? Holy shit. This dude doesn't have arms or legs. I'm gonna go behind here, just to be safe. Um, the walls have closed itself. I have no exit. I'm alone in here with this guy. up. Oh, fuck. God damn. So yeah, that was Lost in the Back Rooms. That was really good. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that you're pretty much alone for 20 minutes. Then again, that's kind of debatable because... It really builds up the tension, you know? I'm sure they could have, like, done a lot more to this. I don't know, maybe... Maybe add one creature to find, to look for you, or maybe not. It... I mean, it all depends. I, I honestly liked it to where you think something's coming after you. Like, I'm pretty sure I was alone the whole time. Like, there was nothing there. But the thought of something just... You know, just in the darkness, waiting and not knowing if it's if they're if they found you out or something I don't know I just have so many thoughts racing through my mind right now this is this is a really good game um I don't know like maybe there there's like so much they can do with this which is pretty cool so yeah I'd, 
pretty much enjoyed the hell out of this game. And, well, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough and everything. And I will see you in the next video. Later.